but did I really just purchase a Chanel jacket for $50? <laughs> everyone welcome to my channel my name is Helen and I upload a new video every Friday on simplicity and joyful living today I want to share with you the story of how I made my pretty much best purchase ever and it wasn't even on sale and this is now my favorite new way to shop and you can do this year-round and not just during sale season so I'm talking about this jacket that I'm currently wearing and I want to start by giving you a little bit of a backstory. So a couple of months ago in September, I did an Instagram live with my friend Ariana and it was about living with a small wardrobe. So I mentioned I have a pretty small wardrobe that's usually between about 25 to 35 pieces. Ariana has even less than me. So we thought it would be really fun to do this Instagram live where we chat about life with small wardrobe because people are always wondering, what do you wear for different occasions? Do you even have any everything to fit every occasion? And also we shared our favorite pieces from our wardrobe. If you're interested in watching this Instagram live, I am Spark Joy with Helen on Instagram and you can find it in my IGTV. And of course, I would love it if you follow me there as well. At the time of the video, I mentioned that I didn't really shop a lot in the pre-love market. I don't know why. I, I mean, if I really think about it, shopping pre-love is very much in alignment with my values. And if I really have to, pinpoint a reason why I didn't do it more often. It's probably because I like to shop really intentionally. As I mentioned in my previous video with my tips on how I shop intentionally, I talked about having a list and sticking to it. And I'm so worried that when I go to any kind of vintage, pre-love, consignment shop, I won't be able to find exactly what I'm looking for. Or if I find exactly what I'm looking for, it might not be in my size, or I wouldn't have different sizes to try on just to see how everything fits. However, those are really just excuses. I mean, I didn't have a lot of experience shopping in the pre-love market, so how would I know that's true, right? Anyway, so after this conversation with Ariana, I felt so inspired to explore more into shopping in the pre-love market. It's better for the environment. You don't have to worry so much about fast fashion, ethical fashion, you know, shopping from the, the right brands as much because everything's already been produced, you're not adding more demand, and you might even find unique styles that you can't get anywhere else. And I think the one thing that stood out to me was Ariana mentioned she got some Dior items for $20. I mean, that is just not a possibility in the regular retail market, no matter how big of a sale it is. So after that conversation, I felt so inspired to start looking into the pre-love market. So then one day I had a last minute cancellation from a client for a tidying lesson and I thought, well, today is the day. I have some time that I didn't think I would have and I'm gonna go check out a bunch of vintage consignment resale shops. So in one of the shops that I went to, I spotted this jacket and I was immediately drawn to it. It just looked really nice on the hanger. And also I, I really liked how it's metallic. It's got silver and gold threads. And I just thought it was one of the most beautiful jackets I had ever seen. I'm gonna take it off. And so the first thing I wanted to see is, well, what brand is this jacket? And as you can see in the video, there's no label. So I thought, well, that's okay. And then the next thing I did was to check the material of this jacket. And I looked at the side of la the label, and so I'll show you quickly. And he said that it was made in France and that it's a French size 40, which I thought, oh, how interesting. Happens to be exactly my size. I feel like it's meant to be already. Then I looked at the rest of the material and he said that the Jacket itself is made of cotton, wool, nylon, polyester, rayon, and acrylic. So it's quite a number of mixed material and the lining is 100% silk. So this indicated to me that it's gotta be a pretty high quality item. Because from my experience working in the fashion industry, going to fashion school, I honestly don't come across a lot of clothing that are silk lined or made in France. 
So I go into the change room to try this on and it fit me perfectly. I just loved everything about it and it was only $52 and I couldn't believe it. I thought, wow, what a great purchase for $52. So I purchased this unknown jacket and I left. So soon after I left the shop, my husband called me to arrange a time for, to pick me up and as I was waiting for him, I decided to take out my new beautiful jacket to admire it and so what's really crazy is that at this shop that I was at it was really dim so it had looked like the jacket just had um, black lining but in the bright sun I immediately saw a bunch of CC logos so I thought well no like, I didn't just buy a Chanel jacket for $50, did I? Just, that seems, that idea seems so crazy to me. I mean, I had wanted a Chanel inspired jacket, but did I really just purchase a Chanel jacket for $50? So I went home, still very happy with my purchase. I told my husband about it, and he was like, it doesn't really matter as long as you love the jacket. And I decided to do a little bit of a detective work on good old Google. And so I didn't have any idea how to start this. And so I started with, on the care label, there was two numbers beside the style, beside the sizing number. So if you can see, there's like a really long number and a short number. So I Googled both numbers and immediately it took me to a Chanel runway from fall 2012. It was part of the Paris Bombay collection. And I saw the jacket on the runway and it looked exactly like my jacket, but I still couldn't be too sure. Now that I know what collection this jacket could be from, I Googled um, Chanel Paris Bombay 2012 jacket and I found a bunch of eBay listings and other listings from pre-love um, and from pre-love websites and I was able to see all the detailed photos of those jacket and compare it to mine. And I mean, one thing I didn't, I did notice was that this jacket didn't have the Chanel logo on the buttons, but on the pictures, I noticed the buttons actually did have the logo. So, so if you can see, just right over there, it's the tiniest Chanel logo. Um, but of course, as I don't have any Chanel, jackets in my wardrobe I couldn't really authenticate it so I start searching information on how to authenticate a Chanel jacket and one of the things it said was to look at the lining to see if it has as many panels as the jacket as the lining so I did count I think it was eight panels in the back and then they said to check for the sleeves to make sure it had two um, two panels in the sleeve and of course the chain which there is a chain at the bottom of this jacket and so all the details matched and I ended up posting this on my Instagram story and I talked to a few people that has Chanel jackets and some people have worked for Chanel and everyone's consensus was that I probably did get a Chanel jacket for $50, which was is just insane to me. It's a little bit crazy. I still couldn't believe it actually. And some people immediately asked me, are you gonna sell it? And I'm like, no. I mean, as somebody who couldn't even imagine getting this jacket added to her wardrobe, I feel like it's almost like a gift from the fashion gods and so this is definitely a piece that I will keep in my wardrobe forever and I will cherish it for as long as I can. And I actually have been wearing it a lot. I wear it to pick up my child. I wear it to work sometimes. I wear it to go shopping sometimes. I do love it so much so um, I'm really excited to add this piece to my collection. I have purchased several more items at different shops different vintage and consignment thrift shops since this experience. I recently lost quite a bit of weight and because of that, I've had to start rebuilding my wardrobe. 
So if that's a topic you would like to hear more on, uh, definitely comment below and let me know. I hope this will inspire you to check out your local consignment shops because honestly, you know, I think the most sustainable clothing are the one that's in your closet. The next best thing is probably something in a consignment vintage pre-love thrift shop. So that's my story of basically my favorite purchase ever. And let me know in the comments below whether you think I scored a real Chanel jacket for $50 or if it's just a really, really good fit. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up and I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of fun contents coming up for my weekly Friday uploads. And until next time, choose joy, live well.